All right, a little update. So I finished replacing all the uh, electrolytic caps as well as the trimmer pots, both these techniques amps, and uh, flicked on the power to try to bring it back into alignment. And unfortunately, there was actually a large explosion as all of the capacitors, which I had just installed in the power supply section, right over here, exploded basically because I think this trimmer pot I think I measured it backwards and made the resistance basically the opposite of what it should have been. So the voltage was unregulated pretty much. It blew up the caps. Um, unfortunately, it took all of the transistors in the regulated power supplies out in both of these, uh, which was very disappointing. Um, so at this point, I have replaced all of the transistors. Uh, there are six of them. Uh, and all of the resistors inside the power supply section, as well as there, all, there is a Zener diode, um, 6.4 6 volt Zener diode there as well. That's all being replaced. Uh, all the resistors in this regulation, in the regulator supply, have been replaced now with 1% metal film resistors. Um, so I plugged them back in, brought everything into alignment. Um, and now I'm going to take these home and run them at full power for around an hour until they warm up completely um, and then double check that they're still in alignment basically check the current on um, the transistors as well as the DC offset etc make sure everything's still good after an hour playing at high power it should be stabilized and then we should be good to go a little bit of a, uh, a journey a little bit of a learning experience but yeah so now at least I shouldn't have to look at that part of the circuit for a long long time the uh, transistors used in most of this amp are actually uh, high high speed devices so they're actually really difficult to find just in case as anybody's wondering uh, so uh, just be forewarned that the, the, the transistor replacements aren't amazingly easy to get um, I had to use some devices from from Sankan and Fairchild semiconductor in order to make this all work but in the end it all seems to be good so yeah hopefully worthwhile